We're going to the library. What for? Why are we going to the library? Sky. We're going to take Sky to the library? Who's Sky? Who's Sky? Uh, uh, it's Big Elephant Sky. That Big Elephant Sky? Why are we taking Sky to the library? What? someone's going to take care of her. Someone's going to take care of Sky. What's going on, Heidi? Um, my mom's library is having a stuffed animal slumber party where uh, the kids get to come kind of late in the evening they bring their stuffed animals and um, the animals spend the night at the library and then the next morning they get to come back and eat breakfast at the library pick up their stuffed animals and watch a video of what their stuffed animals did while they were gone right on over here miss Danny has sleeping bags for you guys okay so we're gonna get a sleeping bag and then you guys are going to decorate it and make it look so nice and pretty for your stuffed animal, okay? Is that cool? Well, my name is Lucy a lot. Make a wave. Bye, Fisher. Good night. Good night, Fisher. Good night. Say good night to Sky. Say have fun, Sky.
girls got up to a lot of shenanigans while the kids were gone. So we're going to take the kids to the library and see how it is that they react when they see the video that you guys just watched. Now it sounds like you're ready. So this book is called Don't Touch This Book. But Miss Annie is a rebel, so she's going to touch all over. You okay? And you guys are going to help me, okay? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So don't touch, touch this book. Mommy can't touch that. Yeah, your fish was in there too. You, you miss it. Rosalyn, what do you see in there? This pitch, um, a pitch, uh, of all the toys. Where's Sky? Uh, right there. Very good. Where's, where's baby sister's fish? Right there. Yeah. Where's your fish, Irene? Irene, where's your fish? Where's your fish? Yeah, that's right. That was the funnest event. It was so, so sweet. Ken took the girls there um, without me. I had somewhere else that I had to go. But he said it was a lot of fun. My favorite part when I was watching the video back was Irene holding up her fish, trying to get it to be on the screen. The kids just thought it was hilarious. I think it's the best, one of the best things that they do all year long. I really like the trick or treat, and I really, really love the stuffed animal sleepover that they do. So um, it was just really cute because she kept missing the <laughs> she kept missing the fish because her fish was there, but she kept missing it because she would turn around and she would look at Ken and Ken's like, turn around, watch it. And then the other fun thing that they did is they um, colored or they uh, ate breakfast at the library. So they were able to kind of like watch their video and see what the animals got up to. It's such a cool event. You should check your local libraries because I think it's quite popular like this isn't something that they just do they got the idea from the other libraries as well so um shout out to my mom's library scene and then later on that night red for ed is still going on uh so ken and i ended up going to prom uh his high school's prom where he teaches because they still did prom even though red for ed was happening we don't have footage from prom though so we did it. Just know that even though teachers were protesting, a lot of them were still working anyways. So that's what we did, and there should be more videos from Red for Ed coming up really, really soon. Princess, my princess is covered in yogurt. I gotta go. I gotta clean off my kid. Who knows where she got yogurt all over herself. That's what I get for trying to film this really quickly in the bathroom in a little bit of privacy so that we can get an intro and exit done because we didn't um, we didn't film a ton that day. But there is more footage to come of the rest of Red for Ed and what happened. Um, by the time you guys are watching this, the teachers are back at school, but a lot happened last week, a lot. So more to come on that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. If you guys are missing um, notifications, hit the bell um, and hit always get notifications. I had someone on Instagram say that they didn't realize that I had posted a video. Thanks, Irene. I uh, didn't realize I had posted or we had been posting. Of course, if you're watching this, that means you're getting notifications. But um, So now not only do you have to subscribe, you also have to hit the bell. And not only do you have to hit the bell, you have to hit, you always want to get notifications because otherwise they'll only send it to you sometimes because YouTube seems to think that you, you don't know what you want. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.